Hey everyone, welcome back to Switchcraft, and today I'm going to be counting down the top 10 most valuable games in my collection as of April 2018. Before we get started, a couple of things I should mention. I have no intention whatsoever of selling anything on this list anytime soon, if ever, so don't get your hopes up. Secondly, is that I'm using a website, pricecharting.com, for these price standards, so forgive me if values seem very, very specific down to the penny, or if you can find each of these titles for a little more or a little less somewhere else. With that out of the way, let's get started. Up first at number 10 on my list is Link's Awakening DX for the good old Game Boy Color. Right now it's listed at $60.25 complete in box and is a game that I've played through many times. It was one of my first titles for my Game Boy Color and I have only recently added a complete in box edition to my collection. This game provided you with a massive adventure in the palm of your hands, especially at that time, and it definitely holds up to this day. Next, at number 9, we have Class of Heroes 2 for the PSP. This game is listed at $67.50 and is one of the single most expensive titles for the PSP. Believe me when I tell you that it must be because it's rare and not because it's a game that has a massive breakthrough in gameplay. This game is hindered, as are many on the PSP, with the all too often loading screens that really break the atmosphere and the battle system itself is nothing special. Consider this one a collector's piece only. Coming in at number 8 on the list of my most valuable games in my collection is Retro City Rampage DX Collector's Edition for the Nintendo Switch. It's currently listed for $68.59 complete in box, and I was lucky enough to be able to pick up a copy of this game from the publisher V-Blank when they released their limited run of them. For everything that comes in the Special Collector's Edition, check the link in the description below for the rare and retro unboxing video I made of this game. Number 7 has us looking at Pokemon Emerald for the Game Boy Advance. Right now it's valued at $68.68 for the complete in-box version that I have here. And it's seen a nice spike in value recently. I'm not exactly sure why, but my complete in-box version of Pokemon Ruby didn't make this list as it's only valued about $20 less. If you have any idea why this is the case, leave a comment down below. Coming in at number 6, we have a relatively recent game but a great one nonetheless. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Special Edition for the Nintendo Switch. This is an absolutely beautiful special edition with an embossed box art, uh, a metal game case, and a massive art book inside. The complete inbox version, I'm confident, will continue to increase in value, and I'll be pouring hundreds of hours of actual gameplay of Xenoblades while I'm waiting. Okay, we've made it to the top five, and at number five we have two games that I'm counting as a single entry. They are complete inbox versions of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver for the Nintendo DS. Both of these are the Pokewalker edition. They're valued at $84.98 and 8087 respectively. And that's just like Retro City Rampage, I'll leave a link in the description below to my video of unboxing Pokemon Soul Silver almost 15 years after it came out. At number 4, we have Sonic Mania, the collector's edition for the Nintendo Switch. This baby is sealed and I have I really hesitate to open it. It's currently valued at $81.65 and has got to be one of the coolest special editions on the Nintendo Switch. This baby comes with an awesome Sega cartridge cast with a golden ring, a metallic collector's card, and the best part of all by far is a 12 inch tall Sonic statue on a replica Genesis that even plays the original Sega. startup audio when you push the start button. Okay, we're really coming down to the wire, and we're down to our top three most valuable games in my collection. At number three, we have another instance of two games taking one spot on the list. Sort of. We have a sealed copy of the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Dual Pack for the Nintendo 3DS. This Dual Pack is currently valued at $81.75. 
And while I've played through the original Pokemon Moon, with my huge backlog of games, I don't know if I'll even have time to break the seal on this sucker before Pokemon Switch comes out. Alright, our first place runner-up, coming in at number 2, we have perhaps one of the best RPGs of all time, and one of the best titles ever made for the Super Nintendo. It is none other than the legendary Chrono Trigger. Right now, it's listed as being valued at $125.42 for a mint condition like this one, Loose Cartridge. And it's another example of a game that has seen a pretty decent increase in value over the last several months. With such an already rare and valuable game at number 2, what could possibly be my most valuable game? At number one, we have what has already become my favorite game of all time. A game I've bought multiple copies of, and quite easily my favorite piece in my collection. It's a sealed, brand spanking new, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Edition. This beautiful piece is right now going for $329.99. And it could be five times that, and I wouldn't let it go. The Master Edition comes with a Switch case that looks like a Sheikah Slate, a physical copy of the game, the soundtrack, a Sheikah medallion made out of metal, a cloth map of Hyrule, and a freaking Master Sword statue. Make fun of me all you want for being this excited about something I'm not even going to open. I don't care. I'm glad to call this baby mine. Well, there you have it, the top 10 most valuable games in my collection as of April 2018. Thanks for making it to the end of this video, so I'll wrap it up quick. I'll see you next time. Switchcraft out.